Mrs. Yellen and Mr. Powell said, no, don't worry about it. Leave gold and silver alone. You don't need it. You don't, that's, a, that's antique. That's archaic. Well, I'm an old peasant and I know, all of us old peasants know when things go wrong, we want to have a little silver over in the closet. We want to have a little gold under the bed because we know that when things collapse, gold and silver will help you. It won't take care of it, it will help you. So I am buying both and I will buy more. I'm also buying commodity indexes because by definition, if commodities go higher, that's inflation. I mean, if the price of rice goes up, that's inflation. So I own rice. I own agricultural uh, commodities. I own all commodities through, through an index because by definition, if they're going to drive up prices, those will benefit. Um, as I see the world, bonds are clearly a bubble uh, all over the world. Bonds have never been this high in the history of the world. So I don't think I would start with bonds unless they're a special situation. Property in many places is becoming a bubble. If you go to New Zealand or Korea, I mean, there are many places in the world that are having property bubbles. Uh, some parts of the U.S., not everywhere. There are still opportunities in the U.S. If you look at stocks, some stocks are beginning to form bubbles. I mean, Apple goes up every day. Tencent goes up every day. Samsung, some of these go up every day around the world. But sure. many are not. So there's still, the stock market is not a overall bubble, not yet anyway. So if I were it, that person, I would certainly look at some stocks perhaps. But, you know, as I look at asset classes, the single cheapest is commodities. I mean, sugar is down 70% from its all-time high. Silver is down 50% from its all-time high. This is not a typo. Oil is down 50% from its all-time high. These are not bubbles. Uh, so the cheapest asset class I can see commodities. Um, I am the world's worst market timer. I'm the single worst short-term trader in the world. Wow. I've been investing for decades, so I know that that's an accurate statement. Yes, I see corrections taking place. Maybe it's over for all I know. Um, I'm not rushing out to buy yet, but I do know that in many places, like India right now, they're having to sell a lot of gold and silver to survive. So, I am not buying gold and silver today, but I do plan to buy more sometime in the ground. I may get it wrong or I may buy it higher, but I do know before this is over, and history is very clear that when people lose confidence in governments and in money, they have always flocked to gold and silver.